is up guys it's your girl lucky and in today's video i have a super easy solo money glitch to show you um the setup for this is you got to have a, a facility that is completely full and you want to make sure this time your lg retro custom is inside of your facility that has and it has to have custom plates on it and make sure you have some extra custom plates to switch them to when you go to sell now the rest of the cars in your facility can be either cars that you don't want or the free lg rh8 um, now the setup for this, you want to make sure you do not have any personal vehicles out on your map and you want to uh, grab a random street vehicle. Also make sure you hit your PSN button to go and to a recent activity and find a recent activity that says start GTA online. Then double tap your PSN button to go back to the game. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, once you have all that set up, you just want to drive up to your little yellow circle in your random street vehicle and uh, let the facility full sign pop up. You're going to go ahead, accept that, and then quickly double tap your PSN button, start that recent activity, start GTA Online, and then you're going to be at this menu, which says, are you sure you want to quit this session? Progress will automatically be saved. You just want to stay right here on this menu until you hear the facility playing, the facility sound stop, completely stop playing. <laughs> All right, once it completely stops playing, you want to go ahead and hit your circle button to back out of the menu and then hit triangle because you're going to be like underneath the map in your car then hit triangle to get out of your car then you're going to fly back down and be on top of the map now you just want to grab another random street vehicle and you want to drive up to your facility I kind of messed up on the first part you'll see what I'm talking about but you want to drive up to your facility and hold your interact bring up your interaction menu and as you're driving off of your facility you want to cancel out, when your back wheels are on the edge of your facility, you want to cancel out uh, your interaction menu. Okay, right here is where I messed up on. I think I was going a little bit too fast when I was going over the edge and I I uh, canceled out my interaction menu a little too late because as you can tell it's not going to work. What you want it to do is you want it to pop up saying facility full and then uh, you wait a couple seconds and you accept that and you'll still be outside it's not going to suck you in. As you can tell I messed up uh, quite a few times I just wanted to leave it in the video to show you guys it's okay to mess up a few times. And um, if you do, just go slower. I, my problem was I was going a little bit too fast. So just slow down a little bit. And as your back wheels are going off your facility, exit out of your interaction menu. Right here is where I get it. I'm going to slow it down for you guys so you can see where I canceled out my menu at about what time. And I was going a lot slower than all the other tries. Right now. There you go. And then you just want to wait a few seconds. And then you're going to go ahead and hit X to accept it. And as long as it doesn't suck you in, if you're still outside, that's what you want. You want to still be outside. Now you just want to go ahead, drive on up to your facility, and it'll suck you right in. It won't say facility full or none of that. It'll just suck you right in. Okay, and here it is. Yeah, see, it didn't pop up saying facility full or none of that. Now once you get inside, it's going to ask you to switch out a vehicle. You just want to cancel that out. Okay, and like I said, you just want to go ahead and back out. You don't want to replace the vehicle, then accept the second one. Now you want to go ahead and get the car that you want to dupe. I always recommend, as everybody else, the LED Retro Custom from Benny's because it's the car that you get the most out of. If you don't have an LED Retro Custom, any Benny's vehicle will do because they have the most upgrades to put on. And when you sell a car, that's what you get the money back for is how, much, how many upgrades you put on it. Okay, so you just want to get into your uh, whatever car you're duplicating and go ahead and drive it out of your facility. Now when you get outside, you want to go ahead, hit triangle to get out of your car once again. It's going to take a second, load back up because it's glitching. Once you get outside, you want to go ahead and hit triangle get to get out of your car. Then you're going to hit triangle to get back into your vehicle and it's going to say facility full. Now you want to go ahead and accept this alert and drive pretty far away. You don't have to drive too far away, but uh, far enough away so when you come back, it'll pop up saying facility full. Oh, 
Okay, now that we're back at the facility, um, all you want to do is just go ahead and drive up to your facility. The little, the little yellow circle, you're going to get the alert saying facility full. Go ahead and accept it, and it's going to, of course, tuck you right in. Okay, now that you are back, now that we're back into the facility, you just want to go ahead and select which vehicle you want to replace, like either a vehicle you don't want or an R LG RH8 custom, or I'm sorry, a regular R LG RH8. Um, now, I, when you select that vehicle, you will have, that's when you're doing the duplicate. Now, I have two LG RH8 customs in my facility. I'm going to go ahead and show you those two. There's one, and we're going to run over to this other side, and there is two. All right. And uh, that's about it. If you want to rinse and repeat, all you have to do is just start the glitch all over again from step one. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button because it always helps. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. All right, peace out.